Hello and welcome to the Bold Plagues, what will be our Georgia on my mind series. As the USA, own and fully control all three Georgias. Now we're going to do this by rushing towards communism. And then seeing if we, by declaring on some of the allies, or at least one of them, can't convince Germany to overlook the differences in our ideology to let us join the Axis. Do, do, do. We also want do, do, do. all of these done. Now, why are we doing that rather than becoming fascist? Because you can become communist a lot quicker than you can become fascist. Oops. The fascism route, you need to get this, which means you need to get this, and this means you need to wait until the first election, which is basically a whole year away. That's a year longer until you can change your ideology, which means you're too late for the start of the war, basically. So I'm going to give it a go with communism. I tried as fascism, and by the time I joined the war, I managed to go. I managed to land from occupied France, take over Britain, and Germany and Italy took basically everything, uh, including the province that I need down here of Georgia. So Georgia on my mind, we need, need to own the American Georgia. We need to own the British Georgia, this one. And we need to own the Georgian Georgia, which is currently inside the Soviet Union. Now, ready, steady, cook, almost. We want another one of you. I want you to be a normal fighter. I would like... A couple more carrier CAS. I'm eventually going to turn those into carrier naval bombers once I get my carrier CAS done, actually, or will I? Fine, I'll do carrier naval bomber as well. And this can become normal CAS once we're done. Uh, what else? Max. Max. The ones that need chromium do not get to have max. I want one more big carrier for myself. We tell the carriers that they should only have naval bombers. They're meant to be good at blowing up ships, not aircraft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're good. That leaves us with rather a deficit of chromium. But then we just buy one set of chromium and we're good. Now if we're turning evil, we want the side, the forces of evil to be strong. So we will buy our chromium from Japan. I also need a truck. And I don't want the submarine to be the last one to get done. Very good. Is that everything? One, two, three, four, five, six. No. <clears throat> there, now that's everything. We go and disband all of these and re raise them in a location of our choosing. Namely, Virginia. That's why we're building those. Well, it's part of why we're building the carrier CAS. We might also use them as carrier CAS eventually. I 
125, enough to fit the largest of ships that we're ever going to build. <clears throat> and then other than that, we're okay. I might get rid of my Fifi's to you, because I don't really want them. And they only get less valuable over time. Nearly done. Boats. I find it much easier to select them all using this menu rather than the, this one. Okay, we are actually and genuinely done. Ready, steady, cook. Once all our boats come home, we can just smush them together. Nebraska, you say? A factory, you say? Done. the fleet. Okay. Oi, I called you the fleet. The fleet. The. And then what we say is everyone always builds into the fleet. kind of wish there was a select all for this, and actually there's no reason that time couldn't be passing while I do this. start developing our naval tradition. Uh, sorry, experience. Not EU4 terminology. And then a whole bunch of the big, 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 big ships are going to become fully trained and we're going to need to stop spending so much fuel. So we will just stop training them. Good enough for me. We should also let that Admiral know he is allowed to detach and repair. So 
suspend the evil judgment so that we can progress towards communism but first the silent workhorse Ethiopia Falls level 2 research speed and I am going to want this for building my own um, rubber but first I care about this Neighbors kids are being very happy, which is lovely. Now you, 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 all of you during the day train. How else do we push your autonomy down? We do that, for one. And then we do this one, and this one. And then we try and start fixing our economy. And we try trying to get towards free boats. Free naval factories. Time to turn on the other boats. Okay. How can I keep you in sync? I could learn about the airplanes that I'm going to want. Now we nearly finished all of these. Mm, they're gonna start overflowing in about April. Sure, South Carolina wants a munitions plant. Then a munitions plant you will have, my friend. Hopefully evil Spain wins. Whoop, time for our boats to stop doing things. Probably the planes as well. revolutionary. Now the sad thing about that is it means we can't go do these things. No party is communist. 
But if you start them, then you can't take the communist revolutionary. So it's just, yeah. Not down this path with all its beautiful free factories and experience and what have you. Instead, we have the crappier path. As well get one of these because they're gonna start not liking me as I pass these sure that even if we get a bad event I can still get it passed yeah like that Oh. Hmm, for the moment you can do a bit of extra that. Economy. I said I want to be able to make my own rubber. And I was not lying. And now it's time to start planning what to do with the naval factories once these are done. So, first step, turn on show old equipment and we go find our oldest submarines and we say for the low, low cost, they cost about 400 of 140, let's call that 150, which is, you know, around about a third of how much they cost we have more than doubled their firepower. So that is very much worth it. Gives something for our factories to do for a while. Now we should have our election, and we don't really care whether we change Supreme Leader or not. So do I want to keep you? Um, I forget what the bonus is for keeping you during the election. If you swap sides, it tends to give you lots of this, which I kind of already have. So maybe I should spend some of this down. And part of the nice thing about that is it means these turn into full states so that you can have double the number of like, factories in them, but also that you get the full <clears throat> recruitable population factor from them instead of them being non-core states. Oh, time to turn back on our boats. Okay, now I can replace the extra gun I built. We're the Stratobomber. And you can get upgraded to the new kind of fighter. We go and start learning about the wonders of our ships not getting sunk and doing somewhat more damage.
Where's my election? Where's my election? Speed up. Okay, so the momentum gained from the presidential election will likely carry over to the congressional election. So basically you get to keep high numbers of this probably. We gain political power, we gain stability if we stay, and construction speed. But we get synthetic and resource speed by doing you. Mm, no. Yeah, look, look at that that we lost. But it's not all that horrible. Because we can just buy it back slowly. Oh. And it's not like we can pass another one of these for a while because it has this requirement not new legislation is being drafted. So you kind of are forced to go do other things for a while. Like we can integrate the armed forces and get democratic socialism going. Or we could try and work towards so that we're ready to go get our boats. Now it's about to be a new year, which means new industry tax being an odd numbered year, <clears throat> which means we abandon all our other activities and immediately transition into developing those new techs. Yoink, you can get trained. I don't know how you're not part of the thing you're supposed to be. Take a break. And then when these finish we might call it an episode. set them to doing the ones that we stopped and call it an episode. All right. Oop. Oh, I hope you've enjoyed watching and that you'll join us for our George on My Mind series part two soon. Bye-bye.